And as a child, I loved exploring all of the little critters that are there. My grandfather was a lobster fisherman, so I always had a kind of a connection to the ocean. I don't remember a time when I wasn't going to be involved in science. From a young age, I was really interested in fish and their habitat. My parents me that when I was little, I would go to the rivers or the ocean. Tu sais que j'ai mes parents qui m'ont uh, qui m'ont incité à être curieux dans la vie. When I go out fishing with my dad, he'd often make me uh, gut the fish after uh, we would catch them, and I was very interested in what those fish were eating. Every kid is a scientist, and I just didn't grow out of it. And I had really good high school biology teachers. My grade seven teacher. Maybe Jacques Cousteau was the first person who kind of inspired me. When I was young, I watched the movie Jaws. J'ai commencé j'avais peut-être neuf ou dix ans. J'ai jamais arrêté les poissons. Si j'ai pas de poisson, je pense que je travaillerai pas. I grew up fishing with my parents and that's something I've always been interested in and now I'm helping collect the data that helps make the, the decisions for the fishing industries. If I were to describe DFO science culture in one word, it would probably be principled. I would choose the word dynamic. Collaboration. The integrity. Dedicated. Expanding. C'est le renouveau. Collaborative. 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 Integrative. I would say unique. Progressive. Service. La rigueur. Diverse. Dedication. Dedication to the job we're doing in spite of the difficulties in getting that job done. I think leadership in science is about enabling the people you work with. Il faut être à l'écoute de ces, de ces espèces d'intuition du chercheur. Un chercheur qui est solide, là, qui, qui est dans son domaine, possède ce, cette espèce de sixième sens de ce qui est important, vers où on doit aller. Um, I find that when you work in collaboration with, with others, you get new perspectives on, on problems and uh, issues, and can often find new, collectively new ways of tackling them. C'est un milieu collaboratif, donc ça nous permet d'avoir des échanges et des partages de connaissances. The kind of work that I do is absolutely team science. You get to know a lot of people here, you work with a lot of different sections, and it's all about collaboration. Je suis fière de savoir que je viens d'ailleurs, mais que je peux intégrer dans un groupe de recherche si intéressant. Ça permet vraiment de de faire des projets intéressants puis de faire avancer la science. Donc, d'une part, on, on passe beaucoup de temps devant notre ordinateur à analyser des données, des résultats, mais l'aspect le plus intéressant, le plus cool de mon travail, c'est tout le temps quand je peux être sur le terrain à observer l'écosystème. There is something about going out on the boat, almost like summer camp, where you go out there, you work long hours in less than ideal conditions towards a commonality of collecting as much data as you can, good quality data, and coming back and seeing what's going on. Having an opportunity to work with First Nations on salmon in British Columbia and the Yukon has highlighted to me how intertwined First Nations cultures and communities and their sense of being are to a species uh, like salmon. And also meeting harvesters and talking to them about their knowledge of, of the ocean. C'est le sentiment d'apporter quelque chose vraiment d'utile à la communauté maritime. Publishing in the peer-reviewed scientific literature. Je suis particulièrement fier d'avoir produit des résultats scientifiques qui ont été publiés puis qui ont un impact au niveau international. It's really important to share our work with the public because after all, we work for the public. Um, it's important that they know what we're doing and how we're doing it, and if they're interested in learning about it, then they should have that opportunity. The culture that I, in which I work is, is not only collaborative, but it's also very conducive to, to learning, to continuous learning of different uh, aspects of marine science. You have people who are supporting you and um, create a team environment where it gives you the strength to step outside your comfort zone. I don't think I could step outside my comfort zone if I didn't have the support that I've had over the years within the different programs that I've worked in. So it's really all about being open to new ideas and always open to the fact that the way in which you think the world might work actually doesn't work. But those moments where you think you've actually figured something out are the absolute best parts. I think one of the the most exciting parts of my job is knowing that I'm uh, contributing to scientific knowledge. De savoir que, ouais, que 
que c'est ton travail finalement qui fait une différence. C'est découvrir des choses, découvrir des choses nouvelles. C'est dans le sens que je fais de la musique aussi, puis de, de, de produire quelque chose de nouveau, autant au niveau artistique qu'au niveau scientifique, c'est quelque chose euh, qui me passionne. The most powerful thing for me is to be able to discover things that have never been known before by humans. That's just a, an incredibly uh, exhilarating feeling to have uh, contributed in some small way. It's a really exciting time to be working at DFO. Right now there's a renewed interest in science and what it has to offer to everyone. I was planning to retire but decided to stay on because I see uh, exciting potential and some opportunities now to mentor the younger generation coming along behind me. I think they're really encouraging us to think outside the box, to pursue different uh, technology, to ask big questions, ask small questions. We have opportunities now that I haven't seen in the last 15 years and I'm really excited about where the research is going to take us in the next decade. It's truly a dream to come to work every day because of the, uh, the exponential possibilities that there are. The opportunity to solve problems on behalf of Canadians is something that really drives me. The, the idea that the science that we're doing is making Canada better as a whole is a really important driver, not only for me, but for many of the people that I work with. <laughs>